<laughs> Looking good. Moshe is here. Let's give Moshe a great round of applause. Moshe from, from the press company. My main man, I'm Moshe. All right, at this time, what we want to do, we want to keep you happy. Y'all, are we happy? Happiness is what? Happiness is what? Contagious. All right, put your hands together for my brother and yours, and really my brother. Ah, Ophir, Ben Amisha died. Let's give Ah, Ophir. Just came back from London. Let's hear it for Ophir. Walla, walla, walla. My baby brother. How you feeling? Uh, it's gonna be a long night. It's gonna be a long night. All right. It's a different kind of setting this year. All right, they asked me to come and uh, do some uh, <coughs> divan comedy, but I, I really didn't have nothing prepared, so I just came. So if y'all see anything funny about me, y'all can laugh, start laughing at that, and then I can pick up the pace from there and just kind of run with it. So, like, you know, really, I'm not joking. Like, for real, it's the situation. Y'all don't, y'all not looking at my feet, y'all. I just get off the bus. But anyway, all right. I wanted to talk about two major things that's going on in my life right now. And uh, one, one of them is money. <laughs> it's, it's a situation, it's not like... I think if you're a Hebrew, you just have a limited amount of money in your bank account, like you can't go past. It's a certain range, you just... You still making a paycheck, but it never really builds. I, I do not shit too feet. I don't know why I call it. This is a situation going on right now. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Y'all didn't see my brother introduce me yet. Y'all didn't even see him come in here. The time is the kind of person, right? The time like to see you from afar. He not the kind of person that if you right here, he wanna talk to you, right? He the kind of person that like to call you. So the time open up. Like something like this. Just everybody look at me and be real quiet. <laughs> hey, hey, I keep. Hey, show. So I, I mean, it's, a, it's like he always got some napkin in his pocket, or, or you always just throw his wallet because he just. Uh, hey, 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 show. It's crazy, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, and, and I just came here from London, so I've been studying the saints in London, and one of the saints' name is Akiaziyahu, right? Y'all, somebody know Akiaziyahu here? Raise your hand if you know Akiaziyahu. Okay, okay. Raise your hand if you ever slept on the bottom bunk and Akiaziyahu on the top. You don't know Akiaziyahu. Okay. <laughs> I'm waking up in the morning. Every morning, I get up, okay? And I, I, my, my whole reason I'm going to London is to talk to the Riyadh family, get to know the family, get the Mikodesh approval. Ha'ama is real hard on me. It's a situation. He think if you're not a plumber, you can't marry his daughter. So the brother is got me in different places just working. I got them all kind of shirts, new shoes. I just can't, I ain't come over here to plumb. Anyway. I got you right? The second, okay, I got an alarm clock on the phone. I had a Sony Ericsson, y'all know what the Sony Ericsson. So, alarm clock rings at 7.30 in the morning. I'm asleep. <laughs> no, I thought y'all ain't never been asleep before. And hungry at the same time. Who went to bed hungry? Yeah. Because <laughs> every time you're hungry, you make sounds while you sleep. Because it's, it's just it's your stomach talking to your brain. You just... Uh, 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 7.30. I wake up. I got a who swings from the top bunk. No hands. And he's hanging. Only his feet holding him up. And he got the same question every morning. 
I'm a mom, a brother, what's the latest? I'm like, huh? What does that mean? You know, I just want really to go ahead and find out what's going on at home, you know? So just to just, you know, put me up there, you know, the latest. But he only want to wear sweatsuits while he driving the car. Like, he don't want to wear nothing else. So you come like, Coyne, can you take me over to the tattoo house? And Coyne is like, hold on, let me get my sweatsuit. <laughs> it's crazy. So just imagine in your head, Nazi Kesgiahu standing on the line, oh, the Nazi Rockamine, the Rockamine games, and he's standing there like, uh, Lemento Mode, be gone, uh, in my eyes. Somebody get that pit bull from over there. Ari O's, Ari, Ari, that's up, y'all scoot over. Uh, Lemento Mode, uh, he gone, uh, uh, set. Then you got the tie on the right leg. You got Cohen on the other leg. And then you got the brother from upstairs. What's going on? You got the brother from upstairs, married to, yeah, Oxen Will. <laughs> and you got a race, right? And you look at that thing, and it don't look right. Because the time is trying to speed up and go. Go ahead and tell me the place is here. And then the brother's just over. This is the situation. Yeah, this is the situation, right? Oh, wow. Oh, man. Yeah, when I thought about that, I, I, I said, God. Oh, wow. Anybody who knows Facebook, raise your hand if you know Facebook. Anybody know Facebook? Facebook, right? Why did I get a request from Abu Ghadol on Facebook? Like, why is the Holy Father on Facebook? Like, I didn't understand he had a picture and everything. I, I'm like, who's putting Abba on Facebook? I didn't, I didn't even know Abba had a laptop. I don't know. I ain't on Facebook. This is wild. Uh, man. Yeah, that's the situation, huh? Say, Abba must got a lab. Facebook. Yeah, headshots, full body. And he might catch rather than take them. <laughs> that is a, that's a professional. <laughs> yeah, but we had, put y'all hands together for Sarlia over here. Yeah. I usually like to start off and I like to imitate people. But it's getting hard to imitate people because they're close now and they got a problem with it. Right? <laughs> So I'm um, imitating Sarlio one day in front of his house, and I didn't know he was in. He wasn't in the country. So I'm, <laughs> I'm sitting out there, and I'm just going at it. I just, uh, uh, how much did those beans go cost? <laughs> I mean, I just came from Benin. Uh, we didn't plan it two rows of beans. Uh, uh, sir. Right? And so, <laughs> so I come out the house doing me, and his each I don't know. Who is who? So I, I'm standing out there, uh, the people are getting together. I'm like, so I'm coming. So I'm like, I didn't say that. I went. <laughs> it's a wild, right? It's a wild situation now, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it's wild. Uh, you got some soft music? You just got some soft music real quick. Yeah, it, it's hard to, it's getting harder, real, real soft, yeah, something like that. Let me see if I can keep up with that. Cut it down a little bit, because this brother likes to be real silent when he come on. A little bit more, cut it down a little bit more. Y'all heard this before? The beat come on right and it's grooving and you just hear a voice come on and say, In winter, she smiled. The kiss of a rose petal comes from a duck from a farm. Is she a light bulb? Because to me, she's more than just the reality. Can we be friends? Oh man. 
The beat didn't just come on, and the brother did not just say, and one, two. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, okay. Last thing I'm going to say before I leave is saints. Saints are known for taking food wherever they go. Right? You go on somewhere, you take food. You go into the bathroom, you eat. Before you come in, wash your hands, eat on the way out. You never stop eating. That, that, that's the law of a Hebrew. Don't stop eating. Yakai. That's what we need to put right by the door. Don't stop eating. Yakai. So, but the worst people I hear is like the people who get on a plane and they get raw. Right? You get on a plane and then like they serving down the aisle and you sit elbow to elbow with somebody and you pull out raw. That's a problem. Because you didn't just make it so it's like a, when you pop Anyway, that's not what I'm trying to get to. I found somebody that's worse than that. Y'all are listening to me. I found somebody that's worse than that. Let me tell y'all what happened. How about a commas get on the bus to blow the bus up and eat my Ellie die sitting next to him? How about she pulls out a full avatia, wipes it off with a dish towel, splits it down the middle, put a half in her lap, pulls out a tray, sit the tray right there, and got the kamas boxed into the window, elbow to elbow with a fork, eating a half avatia on the bus, and spitting seeds at the same time. Just. <laughs> And the Kama's trying to push the thing, he just nervous. He can't even get his hand on the butt. He just, and she, it's, it's wild, I don't even know what to tell you. All right. One more thing before I leave. Is I want everybody to just say a prayer for each other. Because in this season, it's real important that we pray for each other. Uh, I've noticed that, that, that me, I cut, like growing up, we used to pray every night, and like, prayer is real essential, so like, everybody just please, before you go to bed, and when you wake up in the morning, and when you're walking down by the way, just think of somebody that you love, and just pray for them, because we really need each other as a people, and I really love y'all, We come, I'm coming out with a youth album real soon. Uh, just to get the youth back involved into the, uh, the kingdom and the community. So, uh, other than that, it was happy to be here. And Tara Rabbi, I appreciate y'all's support. I'll see you at the fire. All right. Let's give up here a great big round of applause, huh? Band to the band strength. Can I say something real quick, y'all? Yeah. That was like two people. Can I say something real quick, y'all? Yeah. All right. Can I? Bring, please, Coin Shaul, Mubaka Shah, can you come up here and just say a few words to the people? Coin, I just want to know what you think about global warming. Absolute truth. Absolute truth. Is, is global warming, what, what does Abba, what does the kingdom, what do we need to do to stop the global warming? Because it's like so warm. I don't, Abba says, it's the absolute best. <laughs> Two can work together unless they be agree with each other. So, Y'all really can't hear him because this brother right here, Mala, is very, very shy. But he lived with Koi Shao in South Africa for about how long? Three years. He lived with Koi Shao. For three years, if you want to know anything about Koi Shao, anything, go to my life. You know everything about him, what he said in the morning, the, how he answered the phone, anything. I don't even want to do it right now, but go ahead. Hello? 
No, hello, you want, want the mic? I give you the mic now. I give you the mic now. You want to fight? Let me go back. How about let us scratch his head? I'm going to. Let's give my life a great big round of applause.